Episode 4, A New Hope. The film had a budget of $11 million, but grossed over $775 million worldwide. Originally, the movie was titled Star Wars. It was later renamed Star Wars, Episode 4, A New Hope. George Lucas was inspired by the works of Akira Kurosawa, particularly the film The Hidden Fortress. At that point is when I was actually exposed to Kurosawa. And after the first one, I mean, the first one I saw was Seven Samurai, and after that I was completely hooked. I said, you know, this is really, this is really good. The design of R2-D2 was influenced by a character from Silent Running from 1972. Harrison Ford was initially brought in to help other actors with their auditions and ended up being cast as Han Solo. Han Solo. I'm Captain of the Millennium Falcon. James Earl Jones provided the voice for Darth Vader, while David Prowse wore the suit. I am your father. Say what? Peter Mayhew, who played Chewbacca, was chosen for his height, standing seven feet three inches tall. Princess Leia's iconic hairstyle was inspired by Mexican revolutionaries, Millennium Falcon. The ship's design was inspired by a hamburger with an olive on the side. The iconic lightsaber sound was created by combining the hum of an old television set and the buzz of a film projector. Stormtroopers often hit their heads due to the low doorways on set. This was kept in the final cut. Take over. Need a hint. The Tatooine scenes were filmed in Tunisia. The film won six Academy Awards, including Best Visual Effects. And may the farce be with you. The film's merchandising rights were a key part of its financial success. Episode 5, The Empire Strikes Back. Irvin Kirshner directed the film instead of George Lucas. The famous line, I am your father, was kept a secret from most of the cast. Yoda was originally going to be played by a monkey in a mask, but was instead a puppet operated by Frank Oz. The scenes on the ice planet Hoth were filmed in Norway. The Dagoba swamp set was built on a soundstage in England. Harrison Ford suggested that Han Solo be killed off, but Lucas disagreed. I thought he should have died in the last one, uh, just to give it some bottom. George uh, 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 didn't think there was any future in dead Han toys. The scene where Han is frozen in carbonite was created to account for Ford's potential unavailability for the next film, Episode 6, Return of the Jedi. The film was originally titled Revenge of the Jedi, but was changed because Jedi do not seek revenge. <laughs> Richard Marquand directed the film with Lucas overseeing production. The Ewoks were originally supposed to be Wookiees. The Ewoks used a variety of weapons that included nets, knives, stone spears, slingshots, bows, arrows, rolling logs, and catapults. The puppet for Jabba the Hutt required multiple puppeteers to operate. The second Death Star was designed to be even larger than the first. The speeder bike chase scene was filmed at a low frame rate to make it appear faster. The forest moon of Endor scenes were filmed in the redwood forests of California. Luke's new green lightsaber was introduced because the blue one did not show up well against the blue sky. The puppet for Jabba's pet, Salacious Crumb, was operated by a single puppeteer. The Ranker monster was originally intended to be a man in a suit, but ended up being a puppet. In the 2004 DVD release, Hayden Christensen was added as Anakin's ghost in the final scene. Guys, it would be much appreciated if you subscribed to my channel so I could provide you with such content. Thanks for watching.